All right, guys. So moving on to our next and the last story of this podcast, we are talking about gaming analysts and their predictions because they are predicting that we are not only getting a Switch Pro, but we're also getting a Switch Lite. Personally, I prefer Diet Switch. Diet Switch. It's a Switch, but with less of the overheating. Uh, so with Switch Lite and with Switch Pro, we have. Um, so we've talked about the idea of a Switch Pro before. I thought that it could happen. I just thought that it happening in early 2019 would be rather silly because the Switch is still selling very well. And I would imagine it happening at the earliest late 2019. But something that I could see happening actually much sooner than later is a light. Uh, version, a light version of the Switch, a smaller version of a Switch. And the reason why is because while, you know, and these gaming analysts are saying, oh, the reason why is because it'll be easier for for kids to play and stuff like that. I don't know about that necessarily, but I do because I think that kids are doing just fine with the Switch. They can, you know, easily use the Joy-Con separately and have the Switch, you know, set up somewhere, not necessarily docked, but could just have it leaning on something and they just use that so i don't think that the kids have to grip the sides as if it's attached to the dock or they could just use a pro controller depending on the game so i don't know if that's exactly happening but when it comes to people who potentially look at the switch and think look it's nice and and it is on the go quote unquote but i will admit i do feel a little awkward taking my switch out with me even if i had a switch case it would still just feel like I can't put it in my pocket. Now, I don't know if this new Switch, this new Switch Lite, quote-unquote, would be uh, able to fit in your pocket, but when I look at older uh, handhelds, even ones that I still might take with me on the go today, the reason why I like them so much is because I feel like I can just put them in my pocket and walk away. Now, yes, the PSP, even though some people still did that, I feel weird about ruining the PSP screen by putting it in my pocket, but still, it feels like you can put it in your bag and not be worried about maybe the Joy-Cons having issues or the Joy-Cons, you know, having issues because they're clicked into the Switch. Um, Just a bunch of other things. And yes, if you have a carrying case, I get it, but still, I don't know, it just feels weird for me to pull it out on public transit, even though I've never been mugged, thank God, but I would still feel weird pulling something that large out and just trying to play with it like everything's fine. But if it uh, was smaller, I do think that that would be very interesting. And I just bought a Switch, so I wouldn't buy a Switch Lite, but I would be interested to see that one first, potentially in late 2019 or in 2019, rather than a Switch Pro. Now, yes, I would love a a Switch with uh, more third-party support if it is a little bit more powerful, and a Switch that has Twitch support just in it, because that would be amazing. I'd be able to do a lot of Switch games just right here for you guys and through the switch instead of actually having to hook up a tv and get my elgato or my roxio and you know the OB- and obs and everything like that so i would love having a twitch support just in uh, the nintendo switch but mm, i just i don't see a pro happening because a light to me here's the thing right guys a light makes it seem as if oh we will just uh you don't have to get it you can only get it if you want something a little bit a little bit different from your Switch experience. But a Switch Pro, and especially having games that would only be available on the Switch Pro, to me makes it seem like they're saying, hey, this is a Switch that you will never be able to, like you've just afforded a Switch, you've just bought a Switch, now you have to pay for this Switch that if it's more than 300, then that would even be seem like a bigger slap in the face to some people. And not only is it more than 300, but you can only play certain, like certain games will not be available on your older Switch. Ha ha. But at least with the Switch Lite, if you say, hey, maybe certain Switch games aren't available on this that are already out, rather than new games wouldn't be available on it, it might be a better sell because people can go, okay, I know what's go, I know what's happening going into this. But if you've bought a normal Switch at any point, even when it first came out, or if you're like me who just bought it this past holiday season, it just seems like a huge slap in the face to say, yeah, certain games, uh, new games will not work on this um, because, or not work on the original one because the new one is so advanced and is so much better than this one that you just spent $300 on. Ha ha. Uh, even if there's a huge price cut it would st- to the original Switch, it would still be frustrating, regardless. So, uh, but let's talk about exactly what some of these uh, some of these analysts have had, have had to had to say. So, Doctor Sirkin Toto, in no way related to our Toto, as far as I know, Anthony Toto. But uh, Doctor Sirkin Toto says that while the 2019 Switch Pro has already been reported in uh, the development by the Wall Street Journal, I also think Nintendo will offer a quote unquote Switch Lite or just keep the current version at a lower price to cover the lower end of the spectrum and offer 
and offset sinking 3DS sales. And then Michael Pachter says, Nintendo will launch a fully handheld version of the Switch at $200. I expect the device to have the same screen, but with Joy-Cons built into the body and no docking station. Since it can't, quote unquote, switch from handheld to console, it's hard to guess what they will call it, but let's assume Game Boy, and of course he's kidding. Now, the thing is, though, is I, um, I don't know if... The because uh, apparently, uh, yeah, it was was it Sirkin? I, I don't know who it was directly. I want to make sure I get the get it right though. But people were speculating that this might mean that the 3DS is on, you know, is, on, is, is at its is at the end of its life cycle. And, and I don't think that it is. And the reason why I'm saying, look, I'm not saying that I, I, I to be fair, I don't have a lot of 3DS games. So maybe I'm like, I don't want it to go so quick. I don't even have a lot of games. But uh, I also think it's due to the fact that I don't think that Nintendo would this quickly. And it's only been, uh, it's not even been two, two years yet. I don't think that they would this quickly kill off the 3DS, especially when they've released some 3DS games rather recently for it. And they would kill it off while making new versions of a Switch. Um, I'm not saying that they would fully support 3DS as much as they have been recently, like releasing an older version of Luigi's Mansion on it and a bunch of other games that have been coming out on it, like ports, sure, but really good ports. I don't think they would be doing that. And obviously they wouldn't be releasing, I mean, heck, we have, you know, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, not on the 3DS, but on the Switch. So of course, you know, that's clearly, there's clearly been, uh, been changes there, but I, I just don't think that this would mean that the 3DS is, is dead as a door now. I don't think that a Nintendo Switch Lite would mean that. But as we're wrapping this thing up, I want to hear what you guys think down below. Do you disagree? Do you agree? Do you feel as if that there might not be a Switch Lite or that there might be a Switch Pro before Switch Lite? Again, talk to me about all that stuff in the comment section or in the chat. Would love to hear what you guys have to say about all this. So... We are wrapping up our first ever podcast on Twitch. I our first ever Matt Rans on Twitch. I hope everything went well. I really do because there were, there seems to be some trouble with my playback, but looking at my recording or my streaming, everything seems just fine. So I hope that everything is just fine. I really would be frustrated uh, if this uh, if this stream did not go well. That would be troublesome to say the least. Either way, guys, thank you all so much for tuning in. All several of you and uh thank you all so much we're also tuning into this uh separated as clips over at our those guys play youtube channel which again search up those guys play you can find it thank you all so much love you all and if you want to hear the audio versions of these then you can actually go over to our patreon patreon.com slash tg productions and if you give to the two dollar tier you get audio versions of every single matt rants that i've ever done thank you all so much love you all take care and tune in next time for another episode of Matt Rants. We'll be doing these once a week on Twitch. Uh, and if there are any changes, we will post that about that on our social media, like our Facebook, facebook.com slash those guys on the radio, our Twitter, which is at those guys radio, or our main website, which is the teacherproduction.net. So love you all. Take care.